Uh, this is a classic example of a guitar that needs to have the strings changed. If you look right here, you can see the corrosion. And then from the nut to the tuner, you'll see it's, it's nice and shiny. So let's change these strings. And we're going to do the, the E and the G. And that way we can get it done in a relatively uh, short amount of time. If you need to see how to do it again, you can rewind instead of uh, me boring you to tears. Uh, doing these strings. One thing to remember is when you're stringing these guitars, always make sure that the string is on the inside of the tuner. All right, here we go. So let's take our peg winder. We're going to loosen this string. Then we're going to take a pair of wire cutters or dikes, and this is how you pull the peg. Usually on these, you can take your pair of dikes and rest it against the other peg to help pull it out. For the slow E, I'm going to use my finger. And again, just grip underneath the peg nicely and then just lift it out gently like so and you'll notice that on this peg there's a groove we're going to use that when we in stick our new string in and this is inserted over the top take your string and you can pull it out okay then back on this side be careful with these so that you, you make sure that you don't stab yourself in the finger and also in doing these two make sure that your string end is pointed up so that you don't scratch the headstock of the guitar. So I'm just going to get rid of this one real quick. Okay, take your new string, take the ball end, insert it into the hole here, and then see, I'm, I'm actually pulling on this, and it's, it's gripping underneath the bridge plate here. Take the groove of the peg, stick it over the string, and push it in, and generally it stays. Take your tuner and stick it to a 45 or a 90 de degree angle. Stick your string through here. And we're not going to have a whole lot of string wrap left on this, so we're not going to have a whole lot of slack. Take it and see, I'm putting pressure on to where I'm, I'm taking uh, the slack out of the string. This is the important part right here. Take your string and bend it underneath, like so, and then over the top, like this. So now when I tighten it, it's going to pinch that string. And again, this is the most important thing you're going to probably be able to do on your guitar. Anytime I make any kind of adjustment on the guitar, I'll generally grab the string and, and pull it. That'll pull any slack that's in the nut and uh, give you a, a truer tone. All right. Take your, your wire cutters. I like to stick it to the top of the peg and cut it off. All right, let's do our G string. Okay, we're loosening the string. We're going to take our dikes. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to use uh, the other string peg here as friction. Pull that out. I'll remove the old string. Okay, again, take your ball end. Stick it in. It's going to catch on that bridge plate. Find the groove of the peg. Slip it over. Every once in a while, these has, have a tendency to want to kind of shoot out, so... Be careful not to have your, your face sticking directly over where it uh, might lose an eye. All right, we'll turn this to, to 90 degrees. We'll pull it tight. And again, under and over so that it pinches. And you'll see it when it comes around here. And remember, this is, this is Brad, our cameraman's favorite move here. Grab the string and yank it anytime you make any kind of adjustment at the tuner. There you have it.